Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here in my Boca Raton office um, discussing an implant case today. This case um, was just uh, okay to restore. Um, it is a, a sinus, a heavy duty uh, a sinus problem that the patient had where they had to have a sinus lift and a lot of bone added to it uh, and, and some complications with with uh, long-term issues uh, with the sinus. So that had to be cleared up first and then our implants were placed. Now this is, I'm going to show you a Nobel case today that is Nobel Select. Um, we've shown you a lot of Strauman cases, a lot of bone level. This is their, evidently their uh, implants that are, are uh, completely um, you know, submerged to bone but have no polished collars, so they end at the crest of the bone and uh, and then stick up just a little bit. So uh, evidently there's some flared abutment, healing abutments uh, that are located on these. Um, I ran this by the Nobel experts. I didn't nor he felt that there were any present, but uh, I want to show you the system as it, as it uh, looks. Uh, and varies from the Strauman system just a little bit, but I want to show you the rest of the x-rays. This is the upper right side. Um, we have a, like a very large implant in the cuspid side, and then we have the first by and second by cuspid uh, and the posterior, and um, so I uh, I might have my hands filled on this, so um, we're um, we're going to move right to our instrumentation uh, now. I'll just show you what I've done. Uh, I want to tell you that that a good study model and knowing where the implants are placed are important. The second thing we need to do is to go ahead and get our tray ready. So I'll go ahead and get a tray cut out immediately because I know I'm going to be doing an open tray impression. And then the next thing in line is to not only get your impression but you got to have bite registration copings as well so I'm going to show you a little bit of everything right now and then maybe even film this case today for you to watch um, you know here's that difficult area between these two implants so I went ahead and ordered um, some non flared uh, uh, impression copings and I'll show you that as most of you know already that I have made these jigs and I've uh, been criticized uh, by some uh, specialists uh, that feel that these jigs are are too arbitrary well let me see if I can clear the air here on this uh, idea uh, this is a blue Nobel blue biocare excuse me a Nobel select um, analog mounted in stone and then I went ahead and made a a flared tapered uh, impression coping and I wanted to mimic that of the Strauman idea so here's Strauman and here's Nobel okay and if I take this out I'm going to find out that the diameter of the Strauman is exactly seven millimeters in diameter at this thickest point now it has a nice S taper to it and that's what I like on the bone level so I'm going to take this off this is going to go in the molar region. I just made this earlier this this morning. So I'm just going to lift this out. If it comes all out in one piece, that would be great. Here it comes. And there it is. So now we have the replica of this. And, and that what I'm going to use to transfer. Again, I'll put another um, impression coping in there and transfer that data because this is what's going to be in the mouth picked up in an impression. Why not give the lab another one so that they can scan it uh, and then go ahead and, and mill the abutment. So again, there are the contours. Here's Strauman. Here's Nobel. Very closely matched. Okay. Now, the next thing to do is you know you can then take another whether it's a closed tray or open tray and say you wanted the same configuration again this is Nobel's transfer coping and a lot of line angles that are very straight and not and very um, I want to say uh, radiuses are very very defined and a lot of sh 
sharp uh, line angles here. It's soft, easier for the tissue. I like this one better, so that's why I'm converting. So then you go ahead and do the conversion, and you have this really nice soft taper, which is nice. Now you can control this and adjust it if you want to, but the main thing is you have a jig that, um, that you can use over and over and over again. This gets you to a good point. You can always add or subtract with this composite. This jig is a standard um, jig. So I have the information how to make these jigs in other videos and you can certainly write in to me and, and ask me if you need any information about it. But you know, can you imagine now, I'm just going to bring the tray over. I've got a lot of these jigs right I've got seven implants to do today so here they are. Here's one, here's two, and they're all different color codes. Here are the rest of them, yellow. Uh, let me just pull it over here. I have four yellows, two blues, and a green. Here's the other blue. And when you look at a straight abutment, healing abutment versus flare, there's such a significant difference. Um, that's why you've got to know what's going on before you go and walk into that room to take those impressions. So I like to have a little bit of everything. I'm just going to show you a few more comparisons here of straight and flared. Straight and flared. Here's some conversion closed tray flared. Customized by myself. I'm trying to find some others. Oh, here's another straight that's a straight. Uh, let's see. Here they are. I'll bring these over just to show you how I'm I'm ready, ready here. So I have all these. I made them this weekend, and then cold sterilized them overnight. And Cytex Plus, so we're ready to go. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There's um, here it is. All right. And so now, actually I have the others, they're in the jigs. Okay, so here's the yellow jig, and then of course the, um, the green jig is right here. So we have an assortment of, of jigs. I'll show you all three. This one was the, um, the blue. Uh, so you have the 5.0, the 6.0 for the green, and of course the 4.0. Uh, three, I think this is for the yellow. So, if I did everything right, these will all be transferred today in the mouth, picked up in an impression. I'll try to go ahead and video with the patient's permission to video record this for you today, and then you'll have it. And this technique is is also um, it also includes these um, these bars. These will be um, light cured in place so that when we do take the impression as an open tray it's this braided wire that actually will hold them all together frozen and then we'll get our impression and then I'll show you how I adapt the analogs to fit these impression copings so that and then we put another bar on them and then pour our model so we've got bracing not only in the mouth but also the analogs together if I lost anybody uh, that's quite all right. I think the visual will be more than enough to help explain what's going on. So let me detach this one and lift this one up. Here it comes. This is the green. And there's the imprint of the green. Came out beautiful. Got that for future cases as well and also for the lab. And then uh, this last one here is yellow. Let's just remove that one. There we go. I'll lift this one up. You don't need to make a lot of these, just one for each color code. All right, so there are the three. Now I can, you know, put another either impression coping in there or, or a peak abutment, whatever, just to copy the tissue. And, and also, I can also put the healing abutments in here and actually add composite to the periphery of the healing abutment so that it will match that of the uh, scanned impression. Nothing better than keeping the soft tissue um, mimicking and identical to that of what's going in. 
So another great idea. Um, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here uh, ready to do an implant, implant case and um, it, it is a Nobel case and I look forward to uh, speaking to you in a little bit about the actual impression itself. Take care.